Hey guys, Art from Madness here. Another one of our series of Renegade videos. Actually one of my favorite products. I, I don't have a Renegade, but I have a Fiat. And um, it's, it's one of the things I've installed on my car that I love the most are wind deflectors. Um, really, really practical use. Super easy to install. Uh, we're gonna show you how it's done, so come on with. First steps first, we need to roll down the windows. You can see we already did that. Um, next is we're gonna get our deflectors. I've actually already got the front driver's side deflector here in the car. And as you can see, nice dark tint, completely opaque so you can still see through it. Very flexible, super easy to install. I'm gonna show you how it's done. We're gonna do our dry fit first, and then we're gonna go back with the final installation. Okay, so if you look, you're gonna see that the uh, front edge and the top are nice and flat. What that's gonna allow us to do is to set them into the weather stripping channel on the car, and then we're gonna have a couple of clips that help hold everything in place. So I'm gonna dry fit it right now by simply sliding in the front edge first, it's gonna slide into that little strip. Then we're gonna to come to the back. We're gonna bow the deflector in the middle and tuck this under the weather stripping. And then I'm just gonna push down on this part that's bowed in the center to get it underneath and it's just gonna slide in place. Push it up and as you can see, nice perfect fit. All right guys, back's as easy as the front if not easier. All you're gonna do is make sure you get it in between the weather stripping just like that. So slide it in. You're gonna get the other side, slide it in and then you're just gonna pick it up till it seats at the top. That's our dry fitment. We got a couple of clips we're gonna install to make sure the window clears when we go up and down and we're all done. So the next step is gonna be removing the double side tape that holds the deflectors in place. It's actually right behind here. So if we pull the deflector out, you're gonna see this is actually double side tape. What we're gonna do is just peel it back, grab a little edge, pull it down, and we're just gonna seat it just like we had it. So we're gonna put it right behind, tuck it in, slide it up, and we're gonna do the same thing to the back. So we're gonna pull these out. We did our dry fitment. We know everything fits just like it should. Peel back the double-sided tape, and on this one, it has it on both sides. So I'll just take it off on both. And we're gonna get it back in there, back in there, slide it up. And we're gonna go on to final installation with our clips. All right, so last step's gonna be installing these special uh, metal clips. What these are gonna do is they're gonna press the inner portion of the deflector up against the weather stripping so that the window can slide up and down without interfering or contacting the deflector itself. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get this tool along with clips for each one of the deflectors and you're gonna use the end of the tool to seat the deflector and clip and push it up into the weather stripping channel. We're gonna go over to the car and show you how that's done now. What we've done is we've placed the clip on the end of this uh, tool and then right at the bottom of the deflector you just push with the tool into the weather stripping channel and it seats the clip up against the inner structure of the door itself. What that allows to happen is the window to go up and down without interfering with the deflector and you're done. So now I'm just going to repeat the steps with the clip and the tool to seat uh, the clips in the deflector on the back side of the car and it's going to wrap up the installation. And then what you need to do, the last step, is to roll up the window, make sure that it fully seats on the inside weather stripping, and then the most important thing is to make sure that you leave it up for 24 hours so that it can create a nice seal so that when you uh, roll the windows up and down, it's going to continue to seal it nice and tight, and it's not gonna move the deflector in. As always, if you have any questions about product, what we offer these for, because we have a variety of fitments, or you just need general helpfulness, you can contact us at madnessautoworks.com. Thanks for watching, and look out for some more videos for this guy.